Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, Veronica. <laughs> Curly here. It was too fast. Was it fast? Brought the tempo up. See, that's what you, you okay. let me just explain. <laughs> this was Ableton Live. Yes, but, guys, this is live it, today. That's why we sound. We have seen some Facebook lives recently that, that are not live. weren't really live. <laughs> that's funny. Well, guys, we are live today. I think you can tell. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no lip syncing here, that's Millie. That's right. That's right. But it's okay. Yeah. We love them anyway. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're folks out there doing the best they can. We, we appreciate, you know, like the Fred Hammonds and the King and Countries. We appreciate them going out there singing and just lifting up Christ and encouraging you and giving you something that you can hold on to. You know, it's, it's, it's a good season for, for some good music that, that can actually touch your soul. You know? So we want to get right started, and we want to get this information out to you guys. Good information. This is, um, this is so important. Um, for some of you, may, maybe some of you have not uh, noticed that we were gone for uh, over, I think about over two months. Um, I have been, um, had an ongoing health battle um, for about two years, mm -hmm. and um, I've gotten in, I got into a little bit too much physical pain. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. It was just a little bit too much physical I, pain. I'm sorry I hit you that hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's domestic violence, you know. And I don't make, no. make light of that because oh, that's God. real. So, so, so I had to stop for a minute and um, just really regroup. And uh, but I'm feeling better now. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all the they kind words. Love and prayers. this. Prayer yes. changes things. Come on, Tiffany. Tiffany and company that. out there. You know, so guys. God has really um, taught me a lot, Amen. you know, in these last few months, and really in the last couple years. And um, so, so I just want to share a little bit uh, what God has shared with me. So, um, so I battled with an autoimmune disease um, called eczema, <laughs> and um, it had, I mean, it was just uh, severe at times, you know, so it can really put you into well, some physical pain. It's pretty and, severe, for And also, yeah. When you I go mean, to the post office and the postal worker thinks you're sick. Well, I mean, there were times, and you, you can attest to this, that I was almost unrecognizable. I mean, that's me. That's, are you I'm talking about me or you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know this. You know what my face was looking oh, like. Oh yeah, and, and absolutely. It was horrible. Gonna, I wasn't gonna get. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get on Facebook Live. <laughs> so, so I mean, it's just it's just a help. And sometimes people have health battles, but it does does you can't see anything on the outside. But for me, you can. You know, so it just happens to affect my physical appearance. So, well, see, so, that's what the enemy loves. He loves to shut you down. Yeah. He loves to shut you up. Yeah. He loves to not show your face. Yeah. He likes yeah. you hidden. See, but I told you this exactly. morning, the true worshipers of God, the real Christians, okay? The Bible says a city set on a hill cannot be hidden, yeah. yes. okay? She's a beaming light for Christ. She, she she illuminates Jesus. So, of course, Satan would like nothing better than to yeah. snub you up, shut the lights off, shut their yeah. voice off so you have no voice, mm -hmm. No sight, no nothing, and then he can he can continue to use the the fake and the phony like Donald Trump says. He says that all the time. Fake news, so, fake news. <laughs> so God, so this is what the Lord told me because I really had to get over, mm. over, over, you know, this, you know, and and, and just uh, continue on and 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 do do the will of God, do the work of God and the will of God, and just keep on going because it really makes you want to just you know, stop and, 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 you know, give up and, and hide yourself away, <laughs> bury your head in the sand, so to speak. So, but this is what God told me. He said, don't concern yourself uh, with the external. Concern yourself with the eternal. Don't concern yourself with the external. Concern yourself with the eternal. Eternal. That's so, good stuff. Um, so it's no coincidence that God has been helping me to overcome fear in the last year because a lot of many autoimmune diseases are fear and stress related. Um, so, so I've been working on 
overcoming fear in the last year. So it's a very strange thing that this all is going down right now because God has been preparing me mm. and preparing us mm. for such a time as this, you know, because we don't, we honestly don't feel, we don't feel afraid like other people do. You know, it's like, wow, you know, well, we've been through, see, we've been through worse. There's a street you know? preacher who's been preaching in New York in New Orleans, he's absolutely amazing. And I love what he said. He said, you fear death. Right. See, right. when you don't know Christ, yeah. when you don't know Jesus intimately, I mean know him, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. Not knowing about him, but knowing him. So when you know him, my goodness, that weight, that burden has been lifted because his yoke is easy. And his burden is light, okay? And, and we don't have to concern yeah. ourselves with fear and intimidation. Right. And you know what? We're all going to die. And here, yeah, and, and here's the thing. God's people in this time mm. need mm. to overcome the fear of death. That's right. Because the Bible says in Revelations, um, uh, oh gosh, uh, they overcame him, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony and did mm. not love Mm. their lives to the death. So we cannot love our lives wow. to the death. Wow, that's and right. We have to, that's another fear. There's many, many, many fears. Sure. But that's one of the fears that God's people need to overcome. And I say that by the Spirit of the Lord. And we all have moments, mm -hmm. momentary fear oh, that grips yeah. us. All of us. Yeah. So none of us have it, mm -hmm. have it the corner set on that truth. But I'm going to promise you today that the truth that we're bringing to you will bring encouragement to you. I pray that for you and for, for those who are watching. You know, you know, click and, and invite somebody in. So if they're, if they're struggling in their finances, if they're struggling in their health, if they're struggling with the way, look, the, the way life is looking right now, they can tune in yeah. to some good news because the, yes. this is the day that the Lord has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it and the joy of the Lord is our strength. We will laugh. Well, merry hearts will laugh. We'll, yeah, we'll laugh. merry heart does yes. good like, like medicine. medicine. And we're going to talk about some things mm -hmm. that actually will protect us Come from on. sickness. I mean, so guys, this is so, so very important. Um, so I want to share this, what the Lord spoke to me. Um, and this is what he said, because this is what I have been going mm -hmm. through. And so this is this is the question he posed to me, you know, or said or said to me, if it does not matter in eternity, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter. Wow. So now every wow. time wow. something seems pressing or important wow. or or you know, oh I have to do this or I have to do that, whatever. You know what? If it doesn't matter in eternity, it really doesn't matter that it, much. It's, it's really, if it's not a matter of life and death, what's it matter? Yeah. Okay? You know, I just want to I just want to say this. I don't know if we can say this, but Dr. Barb in New Orleans has been just an absolute blessing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting okay, to that. Okay. I'm getting but no, but to get to the eternity part, Veronica, yeah. you, know, you know, I'm going to say this. We as Christians, we got to be careful when we communicate with one another. Even on social media, we tend to let the world say that we don't even know how to get along because we're arguing and fighting and debating issues that are not eternal, Veronica. Right. Good. Things that are exactly. not going to lead us, you know, yeah. into hell or to heaven with Jesus. Right. So this is what, what the Lord said to me. Um, you know what? If it doesn't matter in eternity, it does not matter. Mm -hmm. So because all my life I placed too much importance on things that weren't really Ooh. important. And this is why many of us have this fear issue in our lives. We're placing importance wow. on things that are not important yeah. at all. So, yeah. so if we get this in order in our lives, okay, um, this will make us free from worry and That's fear. Good. This will make us free from distractions, yeah. okay? This will make us... Uh, uh, free from the things of this world that are going away. The things of this world 
are going away. This will make us free from fruitless works. Fruitless, ooh, This will good. make us, and you said this, um, you added this, this will make us free from fruitless debates. Wow, exactly. Just what you were saying. Like, we're talking Arguing about issues. Arguing over things that are not an issue of salvation. Well, let me explain to you what that, what, further that, what those debates create are division, okay? They're, that's what the, 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 the denomination is created on. Yeah, yeah. It's created on opinion. Yeah. It's created on debates, but it's not created on yeah. eternity. Woo. Yeah. Guys, yeah. I, I promise you, I'm, I'm not here to bash anybody, but the truth will make you free. When you yeah. grab a hold of the truth, you can't deny the truth. So, you know, yeah. we, we belong to these clubs, these organizations that have cre created their own movements yeah. based upon a disagreement with another brother over a scripture that doesn't even lead them to heaven or hell. It's, an, it's vitally important that you get this as a believer, that you get the truth for yourself. The only way you're going to get the truth for yourself is to abide in God's word for right. yourself. Don't trust in man. Don't trust in your Baptist and your Catholic and your, your, your religions. That's right. That's the Amen. that's the Pharisees, my Catechism, people. Catechism, your denomination. That's right. right. That's, that's, that's right. not that's not the Holy Spirit. That's not Jesus. That's not the Word of God. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Word of God is the Word of God. That's it. So so this is going to keep us from wasting our time. Just asking this question. So ask yourself right now today. Does it matter mm. in eternity? Because that is all that matters. And that's all that God cares about. And I just want so to give a testimony. Every morning I wake up, when I come out of the bedroom, I see Veronica sitting at the table in her word. When we, during the afternoon, I see her out on the porch in her word. She's not watching CNN. She's not watching fake news and fake and, and painful stories of people dying. No, she's reading life and getting that life, that word life in her. That's what is going to separate her from everything else. It's an encouragement to me as a husband to see my wife in the word. Okay? That's really good. You, if you connect yourself to the one who gives life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you're going to have life. Amen. Amen. First and foremost, Amen. life eternal. So if you connect yourself to life, you will have life and continue to thrive. And you will prosper just as your soul prospers yeah, yeah, in the word good. of God. So, that's good. Veronica, that's good. I mean, so you, you're an encouragement. You're, you're a blessing. Um, and I pray that somebody else out there will get it. Amen. Well, we guys, we want to get this information to you all. Um, but if this is a time to reevaluate our lives. Mm. We have some time in our hands now. Mm -hmm. So this is a time to reevaluate our lives and what is truly important. Not, and I happen to have been doing this for the last year or over a year. So again, the You've only thing I've learned, the only thing that is that are important in life is what will take us through to eternity. Okay? So I'm gonna we're gonna talk about just three things. Okay, and there's there's probably more, and maybe you can even sum it up in one, but we're gonna talk about just a few things that are going to matter in eternity. So so what should matter here and now should matter. It is what's going to matter in eternity, okay? So, and, and I want to say, and this is the real, real important information. Um, all these things that are, uh, that will matter in eternity and that are the most important things that will take you through to eternity will protect you from sickness, okay? All of these things. So doing these things, okay, will build your immune system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the major things, and I've worked with a, a ministry called Be in Health for a uh, little over the past year. Amazing. They've helped me a lot. Um, here are the major things that will weaken your immune system. Okay? And I'm going to, well, kind of sum it up in three things, okay? 
um, the major things that will to, that will weaken and compromise your immune system is fear and stress. Mm. Many, many, many diseases and disorders are stress related. Guys, that's no joke. When the doctors tell you that, I used to think that that was just a huge cop out, but it's not. It's true, okay? And in biblical terms, we call that a spirit of fear, the mm -hmm. spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there's like over 4,000 fears and phobias. So I think that's how many evil spirits of fear there are, okay? Because it is a spirit. I have found this out really, really the hard way, okay? It becomes a part of your personality, but it really isn't. Because once it gets cast out, you will see yourself bold in the Lord again, okay? So fear and stress, okay? We've taught on this many, many times already. I have given my testimony many, many, many times and I will continue to. The other thing that will weaken and destroy your immune system and really it'll destroy your soul is bitterness and unforgiveness. Mm. Guys, right now, whoever you need to forgive, forgive them. Because this is what matters I forgive in each <laughs> this I forgive you too. <laughs> Tell me about this it. is what matters I in eternity. You will not enter the gates of heaven. That's it. Because if you don't forgive, your father can't forgive you. God will not forgive you. So bitterness and unforgiveness will weaken and deteriorate your immune system. Now I'm adding another one actually. Um, and then the third is sexual immorality because the Bible is very clear that when you are in sexual immorality oh you're telling me to stop now when you're in time. when you're in sexual immorality mm -hmm. you not only sin um, against your your what is it your soul Flesh. you sin against your body right so there has to be uh, a, a weakening yeah. of the immune system and of the body when you're in, and so so you're susceptible you're susceptible because of these things, fear and stress, bitterness and unforgiveness, and sexual immorality, yep. okay? And if you guys want more information, uh, it's called BeInHealth.com. So here's a pregnant, this is real, real, really important because a doctor sent me this information. So this is a, just a practical thing you can do. And whatever you do, mm -hmm. guys, do it by faith and not in fear. This is huge to God. The just must live by faith. So whatever you do in these times to help protect yourself or what have you, do it by faith and not in fear. I so, want to say, and I want to say this. Mm -hmm. There are fake doctors and there are real doctors. Yeah. yeah. This woman and her husband. Yeah. A real yes, God sent this, this doctor to me, and she has been such a huge blessing. And she sent me this. Quick Can you give them the information for? Yeah, the I will. I will post it in the in the. You've uh, got to have her comments. information. She's so here is just a practical thing that anybody can do, and it's it's just um, salt, okay, and it can be table salt, any kind of salt, <clears throat> and water. Now the only thing is that you have to boil it boil the salt and water. Like, I was feeling just really very congested last night, so I boiled water, uh, like four cups of water, and then I put two tablespoons of salt, okay? And, the, and anyway, in this video, and I just did it because of hay fever, but, uh, but it is supposed to kill, a, it's supposed to kill the virus. Okay? It's supposed to kill the cold, oh my gosh, the cold virus. This right here. Salt. <laughs> and you gotta boil the water. Can you see the water? You just boil it, yeah, just boil it. Or, or you can use distilled water. So I'll put that in the description. So it made sense to me. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And, and it wasn't because I felt like I was coming down with anything. It was just because of allergies and hay fever and because I was congested. So. Oh my gosh. You want to get this here? Even, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's the end of oh. That's. All right. So. That's if, if your partner smells you, you get this and it'll clean it right Oh. Now. Just don't oh, ah. show that. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. 
I'll use it. So that's a, just a practical thing you can do. Guys, but the most important thing is to get out of fear, is to get out of bitterness, okay? Is to repent from sexual immorality. Those, that's the most important things, okay? So what's gonna matter is each other, whoa, gosh. This, is, this air, so it'll blow the air away from the other person. So you, you say, yeah, you don't sneeze on me. You blow it, see? Okay, so what will matter? Some humor in there somewhere, right? what, <laughs> so what will matter in eternity? And number one, loving ourselves. Mm. So I am just basing this around Jesus' command, Matthew 22, mm -hmm. 37 through 39. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God mm -hmm. with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So I'm just gonna. Uh, well, you if you can't love your neighbor as yourself if you don't love yourself first. In fact, you yeah. can't love God until you love you. So I mean, so so when I say loving yourself, I don't Not mean arrogance. I don't right. I don't mean I don't refer to. Uh, I think it's a it's a scripture in um, I think it's in Timothy about being a lover of self. That's Correct. not no, no, no. what we're talking about. I'm talking about a healthy love for ourselves. What we're God not created. Going around punishing ourselves, mm. condemning ourselves mm. all the time. That's I'm right. talking about having a healthy love for ourselves, okay? Um, so this is to those who have a health unhealthy self-image as I did at one time and don't and, and people who don't know who they are in Christ and don't know who their father is right. okay so uh, many people live in self-loathing and shame okay guys this is that that's it's just an unloving spirit it's yep. self-hatred okay and this is what the enemy tries to do to us get us in a place of, of uh, in this vicious cycle of hating everything about ourselves and hating the way we look, hating the way we talk, hating our hair, hating, hating ourselves, what God has created. And that is a huge insult to God. Mm -hmm. And here's what it does. It alienates us from others. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it alienates us from God. Because let me tell you, God doesn't like it. All right? He wants you to love yourself and know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are his works. Guys, you need to know you are a marvelous work of God. Thank you. So, you're welcome. <laughs> so we love ourselves, and this is how we love ourselves. This is, I'm going to tell you exactly how this is possible. We love ourselves by first receiving the love of God. That's how we learn to love ourselves, by receiving God's love. And that teaches us to also love ourselves. So, so number two. <laughs> okay, number two, what will matter through eternity? Loving others. Amen. Loving others. Now, this is very important to, to note uh, and to know that this command is not defined by what you, me, or you think is love. Pointing your finger at me. <laughs> I'm an expert. <laughs> so, so this should not. So, this loving others. I mean, this can be so misconstrued because we can't define you. We cannot use the world's definition of, of loving love. others. Right, right, right of love. Right. So, the definition of love. Well, they don't only, know how to love one another. Right. Can only whites be, hate white, white whites and white blacks yeah, hate blacks yes. and blacks hate whites and whites hate blacks and blacks hate yellow and whites hate yellow. I mean, we don't. Where is where is the love? Uh, and, you know, I'm wow. so tired of hearing about this unity movement in the Christian community. No, it's not. They're not talking about unifying people, loving people. They're talking about a different thing. Unif unification. Oh one world religion. Right. They're not talking about Jesus' definition of loving one another. Right. That's a different definition yeah. of unity. 
that we have to get a hold of. That's right. Not this 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 ecumenical movement. This yeah. Exactly. CCM gospel music yeah. that the that, that they're pulling people into this foolishness. Mm -hmm. So so very very important guys that we define love uh, that yeah. by God's word. Okay? That's right. Because God, it God's way. God is love. And so we can only learn love from God. And God knows. Okay? He knows all about it. Amen. All right, so here's our definition of love. I, and I love this definition. And, and guys, you can write this down. Definition of love. Everything that Jesus did and everything that Jesus said. Everything that Jesus did and everything that Jesus says. Isn't that an awesome and everything that definition he is. of love? Yeah, and everything that he is. He is everything love. The Bible says God, God is. is love. Right, right. But if we want to see what love looks like, mm. all we have to do is look at Come Jesus on. On. and his words. Hallelujah. Okay? Jesus said some harsh things. Oh, no, he didn't. But he, it, but he didn't judge anybody. But it, mm. Don't judge me. But it was love. It was perfect love. Okay, I'm so, so I, no, I, what I wanted to as mention, I want to speak on that. Um, uh -oh. So, I don't have it here. Okay, so we say we love people, mm. or, or, or it's said that we love people when we don't judge others. Ooh. But guys, this is false according to God's word. And look again, look at the life of Jesus and the things that he said. So now, now, now the only exception is... Well, you're not you, Jesus. That's what you're saying. You you're not Jesus. But, but we are right. supposed to be like the Father. We are supposed to be uh, slowly being transformed into His, his image likeness. more and more That's every right. day. Correct. So, so now here, here's when you don't judge. Mm. Here's, here's really the one exception that, that you don't judge. When I don't pick up my clothes and are, take them off at night oh, and throw them on the ground. Yeah. Don't judge me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, I'm only kidding. If I'm you just are. Stay focused. It's very hard. <laughs> if you are a hypocrite, don't judge. If you're living a hypocritical life, don't judge. Okay? Correct. And that's what Jesus was that's saying what he said. to the Pharisees, Pharisees, to the religious hypocrites. Okay? Correct. So, this is a very. So, when people, when we talk about this no judgment Christianity, this is a very clever way of silencing Christians from sharing the gospel. Because we can't make one another better. Yeah, I made a comment you know? to somebody that said, you know, Jesus hated the Pharisees. And this guy said, Jesus didn't hate anything. No, that's, no, that's it's, untrue. It's, that's what I'm saying. Why does the Bible say, say to hate evil and to love what is good? Right, love what is good, hate what because is evil. Because hate, God hates evil. God, right. And wickedness. And what is evil? Pharisees. They were evil. That's... They were hypocrites. Yeah. Very, very incorrect. Guys, information, Please. the right information is going to save your life. It'll and make save you free. Your soul. It'll make you free. Having the right of, my, the Bible says, my people perish for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge. So we have to have the right information. So if we love some someone, we tell them what God says. We tell them the word of God. And God is telling us all the same things. None of us are exempt. Right. From God. It's like it's no, like having your children sure. say, "Oh, it's okay to smoke. No problem." Hey, is that loving my child by telling her to smoke? Oh, don't. It's a, it's well, a good I'm not drink. saying anything at all. Oh, hold yeah. on. You can have a cocktail. You can have a whiskey. You can you can yeah. you can get, put, put yourself in intoxication. We're not saying anything at all. And don't say nothing. Yeah. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to judge them. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to judge them. Right. But meanwhile, yeah. they're going to the AAA and they're going to all these places to try to get away from what you should, your responsibility as a parent to protect them from against falling into the pit. That's your job as a parent to let make sure your children don't fall into a pit. Okay, that's your job. That's and you know what? If you call it judging. Call it whatever you want. I call it judging. I call it. We are making a judgment call. You know what? I don't want you to fall in a pit. Right. I want yeah. to save you. Yeah. God wants you saved. Excuse me. Okay, so John 15, 12, and 13, Jesus said, mm -hmm. This is my commandment. That's right. That you love one another as I 
have loved you. So we don't love others the way we want to. Hmm. We love others the right, way an option. Christ wants us to. No, what what That's option was given? Though? Utmost important. What option was given? He didn't right. give you the option. Okay. okay. When he said repent or perish, did he give you an option? Yes. You can repent or you can perish. Love. Those are the options. Right. right. Jesus said, "Greater love has no one than this, mm. than to lay down his his one one's life Another. for his friends." Mm -hmm. So I mean, so how many how many of us really know how to love like that? <coughs> right. So how many of us really know even know how to love? Hello. We're not willing to lay down our lives. Well, Jesus laid down his. We're life. not going to how that. Him. Was love. No, we're not going to know how to love because we don't read his word. Yeah, yeah. That's how we're not going to, there's no way you're going to love anybody because you don't even know the word. Okay, and Christians, most Christians don't read their word. They go to their pastor yeah. and they get the pastor well, guys, to read the word. Now you have time. Plenty of now time. Now you have time to get into the habit mm -hmm. of reading the word of God. One scripture a day. Whatever. Day. I mean, you wouldn't think of going without food. That's but we sure. go without reading God's word. And God said, you know what? This, this food is just as important, if not more. That's Again, right. this is what's going to take you through to eternity. Come on. So Proverbs 27.5, open rebuke is better than secret love. And what that means is it is better to correct someone openly than to not have love. To, I'm sorry, then to have love and not show it. So secret love is not really love at all. Well, like the street preacher, Ty, and this other preacher from New York and, and London and New Orleans, they said, oh, we shouldn't go on the street and preach that. That's the problem, people. We're afraid to open our mouths and be bold with what we know in the gospel. To, to say, you want to save somebody's soul from hell, open your mouth. Jesus in Revelation yeah. 21 yeah. says the very thing that he hates is a coward people. Are you a Christian coward? Or are you a bold Christian for Jesus? The King James Version says fearful. Mm -hmm. Calls it fear. fearful. Fearful. Correct. Full of fear. Right. Because yeah. you're, yeah. you're, you're afraid of what yeah. somebody else may think yeah. of you. Yeah. Oh, he has a big I mouth. I never oh. ever thought of fear as a sin. But it is. Mm -hmm. And that is what is helping me get Amen. out of fear. Amen. Okay? Amen. So number three. Come on, Reed. Loving God with all your heart, soul, <sighs> and mind. Mm. Okay? We love God because he first loved us. That, we love God because he first that's, loved that's us. That's the worship love. They worship you with the ugly so, faces. So... Uh, so the way to love God, okay, is to first respond to his love. Amen. We respond to, again, receiving God's love. And we respond to him. We love him because he first loved us. Guys, you got to let God love you. you got to let God love you. Okay? You have to learn how to receive the love of God. Something that I was missing, oh my gosh, in my Christian walk for many, many years. Okay? And it's essential to let God love you and to receive every bit of his love. That's what I say to the Lord now. I say, God, I want to receive every bit of your love so that I can love you back, so that I can love others. And love is lip service. We need to be doers of the word, not just hearers. And if you mean not lip service. Right. If we're, if we're hearers of the word, then we just, if we're, here, if we're doers of the word, then we obey God. And that shows how much we love God, but how we obey God's word. When we do his word, when we do his will, then we love the Lord. Yeah. That's yeah. how we know. That's how he knows that we love him. Yes. So the way, uh, okay, so I said that. So the way to love God is to first to first respond to his love. Mm -hmm. Jesus said mm -hmm. 
If you love, if you love me, mm. obey my commands. There you go. So now here's the thing. When we truly love a person, here, here is how this is possible. Because God wouldn't tell us to do anything that wasn't possible, that he wouldn't give us the power to do. Ooh. So here is how we can do this, guys, because I've been trying to figure this out for a really, really long time, okay? So when we truly love a person, it is much easier to want to please them. Oh, man. There it is right there. And I'm the king. And here, the more, more the time, <laughs> the more time we spend with God, the more we learn to love God. Mm -hmm. Because we start seeing his person, his personality, his characteristics, his mercy, mm -hmm. his love, mm -hmm. his grace, his truth. Hallelujah. And, and how can you not love? That someone who loves you so much that he laid on the cross, was crucified, and died for you. Okay? No, no greater love has, has a man than this, but to lay down his life. So when you really get to understand that, really conceive of that, and really receive it, it's you're, you're, you're going to love God back, and you're going to obey him. What I'm getting a lot from people today is they're angry with God. They're mad at wow. God. That's just that's completely displaced. Well, they're mad. They say, "Well, that's you know, God, displaced. God did this. He, he put this virus here." I was like, "How about the life of Job?" Wow. What? what? Wow. They're mad at God because of the they're mad at God. coronavirus. Right. Sheesh. Now I believe that God can allow things wow. to happen. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, he because he's told, angry with us he for our foolishness. He predicted pestilence. They should be angry at themselves for not reading the word of God and reading what Jesus said in Matthew 24, don't that these things were going to happen. Do it oh. as I can. <laughs> that these things were going to happen. <laughs> like, it's already been prophesied. It's already been prophesied. We were already, we've already been warned. Yeah. There you go. That's what the street preachers are talking about. And, and You've Jesus, been warned. And here it is. Jesus says, let no, in the beginning of Matthew 24, he says, let no man deceive you that there's going to be false Christs that are going to rise up. Come and on. This, guys, this is a setup. Oh, boy. You're, you're being, for those who don't oh know God and those, those who don't know the word, mm -mm -mm. It's, it's a false Christ that's coming up called the Antichrist. Yeah, you know, and I'm praying that these false and churches. That's the kingdom that's rising up, and this uh, and all of this that's happening plays a part in it. And I pray that these false churches fall down right. and, and don't rise back right. up to inf infect yeah. and, uh, and, and affect and here's the reason. Them. And here's the reason we say this, guys, about the false church. Paul said because the false church is, is giving you a false Christ. Ooh, and, and a false hope. False hope, yeah. That's right. not, you, you don't have a hope. A false Christ. Because doesn't, doesn't you know what they're giving you? They're giving you the hope of their beautiful lights and yeah. their PA system. And their, oh, they welcome you at the door. Yeah, yeah. But boy, you better make sure you give your tithe or you'll find out how friendly they'll be when you leave. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I mean, get, a, get a hold of that, guys. Jesus never said to tithe. Okay? Now, he said to give. But he didn't. Say, he did not say the tithe. Yes. Okay. We give. Yes. We call yes. it giving. Right. You want yes. to give an offering? Giving. Fine. Yes. But you know. But you, you don't be. Don't let these churches put you under the law, and, and can right. tell you you're robbing God. That's right. No, you're the thief, sir. You're robbing God. You're robbing. You're fleecing God's people. Okay. I see it on YouTube every day, and I cry. I go. I'm, I want to scream to the top of my lungs. People run out of the building. Don't follow this false, false prophets. Please, uh, yes. guys, we're not trying to be mean or hateful. Yeah, so we're please, please read. So any of you, any of you have ears to hear today, guys, please go to Matthew 24. Because if you want to know why this pestilence is around, this pandemic pestilence is around the world, Jesus tells us, 
exactly why that is because this false Christ and this antichrist kingdom is rising up in this <laughs> earth because things are 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 wrapping up Job things are wrapping up and Job. the only way you can be protected is, is the through the blood of, of Jesus. Jesus you know what Jesus allowed Satan to sift Job and, 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 yeah, and, but he said right. do not kill him okay God protected him, that's but right. but but it was out of Job's faithfulness, his yeah. faithfulness yeah. as a yeah. Christian. Yeah. Yeah. He would not cow down, bow down. God. He was a man of God. How many of you want to be like Job, or how many of you want to be like Solomon? I want to be like Job, no matter what it looks like, no matter what's been taken away, no matter what what no you know no uh, promotion comes our way. I want to be faithful to my Savior. Yes. Because at the end of it all, it's your eternity where your soul lies. That's what matters. It doesn't matter what happens here. Well, it does matter what happens here because you made that decision and you make those choices. Mm -hmm. But make the right choices, guys. Right. Well, again, loving ourselves, mm. loving mm. others, and on, loving man. God with all our heart, mind. soul, yeah. mind, and strength. Amen. So that's what is important. Um, so, so when we get to know him, and guys, the way we get to know him is through the word of God. Oh. He is, Jesus is the living word of God. He is the word made flesh. So if you want to get to know Jesus and who he is, open your Bible and read it, okay? And don't stop. Um, so when we get mm -hmm. to know him, we can't help but love him. You want a song about about Jesus, the bread of heaven, Fred Hammond's song. That's a powerful song, bread of heaven, yeah. sent down yeah. from yeah. glory. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. song. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So John 15, 14, let me just give you a few scripture. On. And then I really want to lead you all in a prayer. And this, guys, this prayer could, could change your life. Okay? So John uh, 15, 14. You are my friends. Mm. Jesus said, you are my friends. If you do whatever I command you. Wow. John 15, 14, 15. 15. So that was 15, 14. This is John 14, 15. It's a good way to remember it. John 14, 15. If you love me, if you love me, Jesus said, if, if. you love me. Big I there was a song called, do you love God? Right, so, so, <laughs> do you love God? So, but it didn't really actually talk about the love, okay, of, God. The love of God and yeah. what proves love of culture, maybe the love of God. So, John 14 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Whew. Okay, so this Come is on, this is how we prove our love to God. And this, and this is one of my most favorite scriptures, guys. If you want God to reveal himself to you, and the disciples asked him, say, why does God, why, do you re why does God reveal himself to us, but he doesn't reveal himself to the world? What an, 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 an incredible question. Oh my gosh. I forget which disciple that was. I just want Judas. to kiss them. Oh my gosh. So that's the best. That, that's like amazing. Yeah. So, and here's what Jesus said. And actually, Jesus answered the question before he even asked. And then he answered it again. John 14, mm. 21. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. Wow. Now, listen to this. And he who loves me will be loved by my father father god mm. it says i will love him mm -hmm. and manifest myself to, to him. him to who the father to us right, to god right, will right, reveal the himself to us right but the father yes. he, he he presents it to the father that's right that's right so this is the way that god can speak to you right here mm -hmm. right now right now guys in this time, in these in these crazy times that we're living in, in these perilous times, how God can reveal Himself to you. 
is when you keep his commandments mm -hmm. and you love him, his promise is he will reveal himself to you. That's right. All right. So that is, that's the most amazing promise. One of the most amazing promises in the word of God, John four, and that's John 14, 21. So one John two, three, just want to drive this home. Um, now by this, we know that we love him mm -hmm. if we keep his, his commandments. commandments. So this is a test of how much we really love him because we say we love God and you know, oh, I love the Lord. Oh, I love, I love you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? But it I says here, here's day. how we know we love, here's how we know we love the Lord. We keep okay. his commandments. I'm just making it real. That's, that's what, you know, people yeah. put, they put, I think those things are from God. They put these, <laughs> These, these demands not on everybody. God not that everybody. have nothing to do with God has all to do with man. Okay? It all has to do with money. It has nothing to do with God. God yes. didn't put you number one on the charts. And you're, not the, you're, not, you're not more anointed because you're number one. Because yeah. <clears throat> we, 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 we haven't even come close to number one. Gosh, Amen. Just so you know, that is all payola. It's bought. That is all calculated and that is all manipulated and has nothing to do with it. It is God. all bought by the system. Bought, yeah. Okay, just like Don, I love what Donald said, fake news, you rib, you rib. Okay, it, it, it's true. He's like, no, you're, you're stealing people, you're, 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 you're getting paid, you're getting paid. Wow. It's big, it's big, you know. You're rude. You're, you're, you're rude, you're rude, you're rude. <laughs> well, I can do that because, like, you know, I'm sort of from New York, up in that area. So, so we're basically we're all rude, up there. <laughs> right? Speak for yourself. <laughs> no, I'm from Boston. I'm where nice people are from. You're all the mean people. What? <laughs> what? New Yorkers? Love you guys. I'm no only kidding. Way. We're kidding. Not when, you, not when you get to know them. <laughs> we're, okay, so Ecclesiastes 12:13. <clears throat> Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Here's going to just wrap things up. And uh, this is the words of Solomon. Let us, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments for this is man's all. That's it. Okay. Guys, that's all you have to care about in these times. Is fearing God, loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Come on, man. And keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, okay? This is to take the weight off of you, not to put weight on you, okay? Because when we love him, we want to please him. Yeah, you yeah. know what, and, and learn, start by just lo loving your own relatives and your family, and, yes. and embracing them, <laughs> and praying for them, and praying for their salvation, yeah. and encouraging them to get, draw nigh to God. That's you know? the biggest test, is just loving those who are around you. Exactly. You know, thank God, we have, a, we have a cat that we just absolutely adore. She, my daughter brought her here, and she has been the blessing of this home. She's the peacemaker. She's, she's wow. I mean, I'm only kidding, okay? Jesus is the peacemaker. But this cat brings a presence of love. An animal can do that. Yeah, yeah. And it takes an animal sometimes to bridge humans together. Wow. Isn't that crazy? But you know what? Love one another, encourage one another, pray with one another, be in the word with one another, be in the word individually yeah. as yes. well. And you know what? Just just when you think of me, Angelo, just stop the stupid. Stop the stupid. <laughs> this is our motto. And you know what? Loving people to the truth. The truth, yes. And loving them is, 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 is bringing sometimes a word that's very difficult. Yes. But guys, I don't, I don't want to leave you this way. I want to lead you into this prayer. This prayer can save your life. Okay? Because we want nothing more. God, God, God has led us into repentance right. in the last five years. And that's why we right. feel prepared for these times that we're in. So God led us into repentance. And we want to lead you all Come on. into repentance. For those who really want to serve God, guys, we got to change some things. And, and that's okay because God gives us the power again. Amen. And so repentance will reconnect you with God. So if anybody wants to reconnect with God right here, right now, um, just 
repeat these words after me. And these are actually a couple scriptures that I put together. And um, but you know what? It's it's a perfect prayer, and um, and this could get you back strong with God. Okay. So um, so just repeat after me. Search me, O oh God. Search me, O oh God. And know my heart. And know my heart. Try me. Try me. And know my thoughts. And know my thoughts. See if there is, see if there be any wicked way in me. See if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. And lead me in the way of everlasting. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. And renew a steadfast fast spirit within me. Do not cast me away Do from not your cast presence. me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Re restore to me the, the joy of your salvation. And uphold me by your generous and spirit. And uphold me with your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways. And I will tra teach transgressors your ways. And, and sinners will be converted to you. And sinners will be converted to you. And we agree with you. And we agree and with we you. And we pray this as well. And we pray in this as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.